Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over how I use deep learning to generate artwork. I'm going to also be linking the tool I made down in the description in case you want to give this exact same thing a go yourself. That being said, this does take a long time to put together. So if you do like this type of content and you want to help out the channel, subscribing, liking the video, it really makes a difference and it means the world to me. Without any further ado though, I want to jump right into some spicy results. So as you can see, I have here and here two different pieces of artwork. Can you guess which one of these was generated by AI? I'll be coming back at the end of the video to let you know which one it was. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into this and talk about how I generated this art. These days, there are actually a lot of options out there and a lot of really cool models that can generate some pretty neat art. I think this whole trend really started, maybe not from the beginning, but one of the original proponents was Google's Deep Dream paper, which could generate crazy images like this one and this one. Nowadays, that's come all the way along to models like Dali, in which cases you can't even really tell the work apart from human pieces. To get started on this project, I actually first did a little searching around and I ended up going with an implementation I found on GitHub called Deep Days. You give it a text prompt and it gives you back an image. Taking a look at the Deep Days page itself, you can actually see some of the really cool stuff it's already generated before we've even put our own spin on it. Deep Days uses two primary parts to get these super cool results. The first thing that Deep Days does is it uses what's called Siren. Siren is a more recent paper about instead of using activation functions like ReLU and TANH, which you see very commonly, it opts to use sign activation functions. And what that does is it allows it to model these images much better. And on screen now, you can see an example of that Siren being over here to the right. The next thing Deep Days uses is a model called Clip that was developed also fairly recently by OpenAI. What Clip does is it allows you to directly compare an image and some text to figure out how similar they are. I won't go too deep into the theory in this video, but if that is something you would like to see, make sure to leave a comment to let me know that that is the kind of thing you're interested in. But anyways, by exploiting Siren and Clip, Deep Days is able to generate the incredible images you saw before. So what I did is I went ahead and made a script that would allow me to automate this process so I could go ahead and create a bunch of these images overnight because they do take some time to generate. So let's go ahead and dive right into the results. On the top, I'm displaying the prompt that was used to generate the piece. And then below that, you can see what was actually generated. The first one we're taking a look at is Neon Streaks of Vibrance. This one's pretty neat. I, I definitely like the colors. It's a bit crazy. I do think you can kind of tell it was generated by an AI just with how crazy it is, streaks all over the place. But I really do love the vibrance. Next up is Violent Red in the Underworld. Pretty cool. I really do like when this network uses red. For some reason, I think it always just makes it look really stunning. Next is Thread of Fate. You, you can sort of see the little thread running through the center right here. But if you've ever watched the Fate series, the anime series, I swear to God, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is getting some influence. I like try to tell me that the bottom doesn't look like Saber and Archer in the top left there. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy, but. Next we have Cosmic Clarity. Really anything but clear, but I do like the space-like theme here. We can actually even do a little more and generate every step along the process as the AI was generating this. You can see first, it starts to work out the base of the image. And then after that, it starts to fill in the details and make sure the color is there. I think now is probably a good time to answer the original question I posed as to which of these two images was generated by AI. And you might have guessed that this was actually a trick question. Both of these were actually generated by AI, which I think is really crazy, though it may not be so surprising now that you've seen all the other incredible images that these models can generate. I decided to still take this a step further though. And the reason why was because up till now, these models have been doing an automatic generation for the most part, but it's not 100% automatic because we still have to put in textual prompts. So I used OpenAI's GPT-2 model, which is a model that can be used for text generation to go ahead and generate these prompts automatically too. So now the whole process from start to beginning is all automatic and I don't even have to lift a finger other than the initial click. Same thing here, name of the prompt on the top that was generated by the AI this time though, by GPT-2, and the image on the bottom. We're starting off with expose the darkness. 
I don't know why, but when I let GPT-2 run wild, <laughs> it ended up with some really dark themes. You'll see more in a second. Next is Grave Danger is a book, so you take those pills. <laughs> uh, I don't know what was going on here. Last up, we have Ray Fusenum. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be <laughs> because I don't know what that title is, but it looks a little bit like bacteria to me, if anything. For these two, we can also go ahead and take a look at the generation process. If you found those interesting, I'm actually thinking of putting together a new video where I go ahead and let these images run crazy. I don't even look at what they are, but I upload them to an Instagram page for a week to a month and see what happens, see what people think, see if it gets any traction, and then make a video going over the results. Anyways, if that's the type of thing you're interested, do drop a sub on the channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Other than that though, in the description, I've left a link to this project I've done here so you can go ahead and give it a run for yourself. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to catch you next time.